Hey, I wanted to share with you a way I was able to modify a Chicago Electric MIG-170 wire feed welder to operate with this clutch aluminum spool gun. You can see there's three connections there. There's gas, the DC power, and the electronic communication. There's the, uh, the MIG-170 uh, there. And you can see it's got some extra connections in the front. Some I've modified a few things. There's a switch I added here that switches from MIG welding to spool welding. There's an indicator here that shows argon flow. There's this connection here that routes the argon into the gun. And this gray cable here is, is the speed control and uh, weld on off. And then this uh, big cable here is the DC. So I wanted to be able to disconnect the spool gun from the welder. So I've got this twist connect here. There's a 510 XLR cable that controls the trigger and speed functions. And there's this uh, quick release gas connection for the argon. So this is how you connect. I keep this uh, stored separately. And this sheath is something I've added to the welder that I just, when I'm using, uh, I just roll it up out when I keep it out of the way when I'm not using it. And here's the side view of the MIG-170 wire feed welder. Of course, it's got the spool is there for the steel. And there's this extra connection here that goes to the uh, spool gun. There's this argon connection that comes in through and is routed around over here to this extra solenoid that I've added. And there's a heavy connection here that goes for the DC power. And the, the gray cable here routes into the front panel and goes to these switches on the front panel that I've added to switch it back and forth from uh, aluminum to steel. So that's a conversion. It's, oh, there's also this, uh, I wanted more precision in the adjustment of the motor, the drive motor for the aluminum spool. So I just route this out to a, this goes into a variable DC power supply and I can have very precise control of the speed to fine tune the weld because welding with the aluminum spool gun, it is a little peculiar, particular, it only likes certain settings for certain thicknesses and it's not as easy for me. I, I find it's easier just to take weld than the, to use the spool gun.